Does everybody have pens, guys? Okay. All right, good. Beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. In case, guys, you would like to have some tea, we have like coca tea and some packs of tea over there, chamomile. I'm just saying, it's for free. <laughs> okay. Uh, keep, uh, keep the clipboard. I need just the papers. Okay, good. That's for you, and this is for me. Thank you, guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to tell everybody good afternoon. Welcome to Peru. Welcome to Cusco City, and welcome to Salcantay Trekking Company, guys. Okay? With your permission, I'm going to take this off, because I cannot really talk so much, guys. Okay, nice. Excellent. So, familia, should I call you familia? Of course, we're going to be sharing like five days all together, suffering, crying in the middle of nowhere. That's going to make us a family, guys, right? Okay, familia. Um, first of all, I got to give you the duffel bags, the ones that is going to be carried by the horses, guys, the following days until Machu Picchu City, okay? So, the only thing I got to like mention is going to be that those duffel bags are not really waterproof, okay? But... Another hand. In another hand, we gotta check the zippers, please. All of them should be working, guys. Yeah? But look at here. We are, let's say, guys, we are pretty much in September. This will be the month where we're gonna start to have rain. Yeah? It could be like very light rain at the beginning. So the heavy rain we have in this, let's say, in these uh, mountains, guys, it will be pretty much in December. November, December, January, February, and March. Okay, but it will start this month. But I would like to tell you, with experience of being guiding up there in the middle of nowhere, in September, sometimes we have no rain. But we have to be prepared, okay? So, better to prepare you guys in this way. So then you can, be, you, you can have an idea what is coming, right? So, for that reason, the company is giving you this gift into this duffel bag, guys. What is this? A plastic punch. I know that you guys grow, uh, brought with you your raincoat, okay? But plastic poncho will be a second help in our hike. And another thing, look what we have. Ta-da! <laughs> toilet paper, yeah? But in case we're going to finish all this toilet paper, we will have some shops on the way so we can like buy guys on the way, yeah? Just in case. Look at this plastic bag. This plastic, I mean, this is a yellow plastic bag like this size, maybe, guys. Uh, this is normally in order to, let's say, use all this toilet paper and carry with us. I mean, at least to put in our, let's say, rubbish bin at the end of the days, guys. Okay? So that will be one way to, let's say, keep clean the entire hike, guys. And the other one, as hikers normally do, and we are hikers, of course, guys, we got to, like... If we're going to do just in case number two, for example, we got to dig around a bit, right? And then put the, to uh, the toilet paper in there and then cover it with some rock or soil. And that will be okay, guys. All right? Just in case. But if you guys going to use it in this way, I'm talking about, look at the, to the, I mean, the yellow bag, guys, will be juice. In order to wrap it all our belongers, all our clothes, like this toilet paper is in this little bag. Why is this? Look at this. This is not really waterproof, guys. In case we're going to have rain, all the stuff in here will get wet. But if our belongers, or let's say clothes and everything you're going to take with you guys into this duffel bag, will be in a plastic bag like this toilet paper is, guys, even when we're going to have like heavy rain, at the end of the day, it will be dry and clean. That's the idea. So we have two plastic bags here. Got it? Awesome. So, on the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, we got to remember the duffel bag numbers, please. All of them have numbers, just to avoid some confusions, please. Got it? Thank you very much. Please grab one, senorita. Senor. Senorita, please. Awesome. Please, for you as well. Senorita, please. Goes in here too. 
Uh, the ones that you're gonna rent it? Yeah. No. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be able to fit in every duffel bag six kilograms. Six kilograms of our personal belongers, guys. Okay? And it's not included the sleeping bag. The ones that you guys are renting for, uh, from us, it will be not included, guys, into the sleeping bag, actually. It will be only for your personal belongers. Let's say for your clothes, in this case. A sleeping bag, it will be outside, especially the ones that you are going to rent from us. And when are we going to give you the sleeping bags? It will be, guys, tomorrow at midday. All right? Just in case. <clears throat> Do you check them, guys? Beautiful. You have a, okay, perfect. So, señores, uh, I just would like to check and make it clear what is included in your tour and where you stay to pick you up, guys. Tomorrow morning, you guys are going to hate me, okay? <laughs> but the only thing I gotta tell you is no pain, no gain, because what we are gonna gain is gonna be Machu Picchu, right, on day five. For this reason, guys, but believe me, every single morning, maybe not tomorrow, but a day after tomorrow, in the morning, I'm going to wake you up with hot coca tea, guys, right? So deliver it to your igloo, for example. And I will try to sing for you guys in the morning, yeah? <laughs> Just to make it very nice, okay? All right, good. Thanks. Could you please take a picture? It's 51, yeah? Okay. Good. Please, do take a picture, so then you can text to me in order to coordinate our pickup time tomorrow morning, please. Please. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, tomorrow, pickup time, ladies and gentlemen, it will be at 4 o'clock. Between 4 and 4.20, please. When I'm saying this, I can be in your hotel at 4, at 4, I can be there at 4.20, 4.10, 4.15. Why is this? It's because our hotels are located far away from each other, guys. For that reason, it will take me a little time to pick you up. It will take me pretty much like 20 minutes, pretty much, guys. Is that okay? Beautiful. So, you guys been renting one sleeping bag, one walking stick, well, three sleeping bags and two walking sticks, actually. Yes. Okay, two, only two walking sticks, right? Beautiful. No food restrictions. Okay, you eat everything. everything. So we're normal people. Yes. Okay, good, guys. Actually, our chef, ladies and gentlemen, let me to talk about, about food, guys. Instead of losing weight, we're going to be gaining more at the end. Because we had one of the best chefs of the company, the guy who is going to be really feeding us so good, guys, the following days until Machu Picchu. Sorry to disappoint you guys. If you've been planning to like lose weight on this height, that's not gonna be possible. So I don't wanna go, I, I don't want to talk so much. You guys tomorrow gonna let me know. At lunchtime, you will be like, Freddy, you're right. Okay? <laughs> Beautiful, senores. So, no food restriction. Thank you very much, guys. So, you have no any, oh, you have actually in Machu Picchu service, you have this, uh, the, the guiding service in Machu Picchu. So I'm going to be your tour guide, okay, on the last day in Machu Picchu City. But then you have also Machu Picchu Montaña, the big mountain. Oh, congratulations, guys. You have like 360 degrees to see everything from up there. Beautiful mountain. Congratulations. So keep some energy for that day, yeah? <laughs> Beautiful. You have the service of only Machu Picchu Circuit. I mean, the touring Machu Picchu. No any other mountain, right? And just trying to be very careful with this information because sometimes my clients surprise me, you know, in Machu Picchu, and they say, Freddy, I did pay to do an extra mountain. But now we are talking about it, and I'm making clear, guys, right? Awesome. So you guys have no any extra mountain to climb, right? Okay, what about sleeping bags? Did you rent it? How many sleeping bags? Three sleeping bags. So what about a food limitation, guys? Food restriction. So you eat everything, too. Wow. Thank you very much. The chef is going to be so happy, guys. Huh? <laughs> Great. So, thank you, guys. 
So on the other hand, you have also Machu Picchu Mountain. Just the, I mean, sorry, Machu Picchu City, the service. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. What about sleeping bags? Are you gonna pay it? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna rent it, right? Yeah, rent it. And walking sticks too. Okay. Good. What about food uh, restriction? No. Okay, good. Nice. Thank you very much, Nerita. So um, you guys also have just the survey. Oh, sorry. You have Huayna Picchu Mountain too. Okay, Machu Picchu, the circuit one, the guiding circuit, and also Huayna Picchu Mountain. Is that right? Beautiful. And that will be from 9 to 10. Okay, awesome. So you guys been renting the sleeping bags and walking sticks too, both of you? Uh, just one pair of walking sticks. Oh, really? Okay, who's not renting them? Uh huh. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, got it. What about food restriction, please? No food restriction. Good. Nice, guys. Thank you so much. So, Familia, uh, just one more question, please. Um, how much time have you guys been here in Cusco City at this level? 3,200 meters about sea level. Four days. Thank you very much. Two days, that's okay. Still okay, still okay, <laughs> señores. Two and a half days, that's also good. Oh my God, really? Okay, so the only thing, this is for all of you guys, yeah? The only thing that you have to do, please, is to drink lots of water. Lots of water. If you like normally drink like one liter of water, you gotta drink like two, maybe even three. Okay, better to go to pee many times than having like headache problems, adult breathe, and this cannot consequence of altitude problems, guys. Is that okay? Are you taking some pills maybe for altitude? Dimox. Yes. Dimox, okay. So if you're gonna feel like tingling fingers, tingling lips, tingling ears, that's normal, please. Do not be nervous, okay? For sure, that's gonna send you to pee many times, guys, okay? That's great. <laughs> On the other hand, familia, ladies and gentlemen, during the days in the morning from 5 a.m. when I'm gonna wake you up, to 5 p.m., you are able to drink coca tea, okay? But right after dinner, no coca tea, please, okay? Because this one keeps you awake, okay? It keeps you awake, and especially tonight. You got to sleep well, because tomorrow wake-up time is going to be early, guys. For that reason, no coca tea tonight. No any alcohol tonight, please. Sorry, guys, if you've been planning to go out tonight, no alcohol tonight, okay? No even alcohol tomorrow night. Please, I'm going to be watching you guys, okay? <laughs> so afterwards, when we're going to be down below, you can have you, you know, your service, I don't know, to celebrate that we guys going to be doing, let's say, the hardest day, right? But tonight, tomorrow night, no any kind of alcohol. Is that okay? Beautiful, senores. I trust in you, eh? And another thing, please, I will suggest, do try to eat something light. Do not eat very heavy things because, guys, you got to understand, we are like over 3,200 meters and most of you guys are coming from sea level, right? So our stomach and our intestines and every, everything in here, guys, needs oxygen in order to make it work good. So what we don't have here is, you know, oxygen pretty much. For that reason, if you're going to be having something heavy during the night, especially after dinner, it will be like, guys, I will say you will have some little problems because tomorrow we're gonna be exposed even higher guys for that reason Try to eat something light tonight. Is that okay? Beautiful. Sorry. Sometimes I'm going to sound like your older brother And this is how I'm gonna be the following days until Machu Picchu guys. Okay, so familia And that's it any questions until here, please. Is this clear? Beautiful now, let's talk a little bit about our map guys about what we need to bring in order to do our hikes, please, okay? So, the company suggests, okay, they said that you have, you have to bring, yes or yes, guys, your passport, please, physically, okay? No any photocopy, we'll need physically. A sleeping bags, we talk about the sleeping bags. Trekking poles, yes, we did talk about it too. Let me to tell you that hiking poles, guys, or walking sticks helps at least 30% when you walk. Of course, when you have experience. But when you don't have, I have seen many times my clients carrying the walking sticks instead of using them, guys, okay? So, on the other hand, 
medium trekking backpack or oh, the ones you guys have in front of me very good size to hike with this kind of little backpacks or day bags will be used to carry our snacks our extra t-shirt maybe our water our toilet paper i will say our flashlights we need to have guys our headlamp just in case and then what else uh, just the little things that we have to take with us guys during our hike which is gonna be normally in between seven and ten hours okay every single day that's how we're gonna be walking guys yeah so and also this kind of little backpacks mm, is gonna be allowed in Machu Picchu city too guys right why is this guys uh, because when I used to do for example in Quetrel a long time ago people used to carry normally big backpacks so when we used to arrive to Machu Picchu and we've been trying to take pictures, you know, around Machu Picchu with huge backpacks, they used to push people, guys, from terrace down to other terraces, provoking accidents. For this reason, guys, it's forbidden to take in Machu Picchu big backpacks. It should be less than 20 liters. The ones you have, perfect. Maybe you... It, that was actually... Okay. Uh, if you have a big backpack, you can bring with you. Those four days hiking until Aguas Calientes, you can bring the big backpack, yeah? But then we're going to storage in the reception of the hotel in Aguas Calientes together with this duffel bag. And the next day you can like maybe take this little backpack. If you guys are friends, right? Yeah. Okay, then you can yeah. share it. No problem. <laughs> okay, so then you will have just a little backpack up there in order to have some snacks or water and these kind of things up there in Machu Picchu. Okay. So it makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So, uh, on the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, what we suggest to bring with us for five days hiking is going to be one long slip t-shirt. Four short slip t-shirts. One short. Are you guys going to walk with shorts? Please, if you're going to walk with shorts, you got to bring, yes or yes, guys, mosquitoes repellent. Our Peruvian crazy mosquitoes love, actually, our tourists, guys. For that reason, mosquito repellent, very important. Got it? So, okay, one pair of waterproof pants. Did you bring waterproof pants, guys? If you bring them, perfect. If you didn't, it's okay, guys, because remember, one more time, we are not in the really rainy season yet. Okay, so the plastic poncho will be an out. On the other hand, waterproof jacket, do you have? Yes, of course you have. One warm jacket. Okay, that's good. Guys, I just would like to give you an idea how I'm going to be hiking with. Pretty much like she is. Look, she has a t-shirt, she has a warm polar in there, and then maybe a... Is that a... See, that's how I'm normally going to be hiking with, guys. In the mornings or in the afternoons, too. What I'm going to have is going to be just my gloves. Maybe I'm going to add my gloves on, my wool hats on. Maybe one leg in, you know, inside, and my extra pan on. That's going to be for the first night. It's not going to be that, that cold, because we are going into what is called, a, let's say, rainy season, guys. So when we are in the rainy season, it's not that cold like in the dry season. In the dry season, sometimes we go like 15 uh, degrees below zero, guys. So literally in the morning, when you go outside, it's completely frozen. Okay, but nowadays, it's not in that way which is good, okay? Just to let you know. So on the other hand, I was talking about waterproof and wool gloves, sun hat to protect neck and face, please. Very important. If you have this kind of Indiana Jones hat, it will be helpful. But if you have that kind of baseball hat, it's also good. You just gotta put it on all over the neck and ears, guys. Lots of sunblock. Every one hour, two hours, it will be great, okay? Wool hat for the cold, yes, oh, we need to have that one. A neck gaiter or buff, bring with you, please, very important. One hiking boot, are you guys, do you guys have hiking boots, proper ones? Okay, that's what I like it, awesome, guys. Do you guys have those ones too? Okay, I trust in you, eh, I'm just checking you guys, okay, perfect. So, uh, what else, please, light footwear. Yeah, yeah, like the ones you have, for example, this kind of light footwear or like the ones you girls have, please, you can bring those ones too. Because, oh, you're going to climb to Huayna Picchu Mountain? No, Machu Picchu, no even. If you're going to like hike around Machu Picchu City with that kind of trainers or runners, you can do it without problems, okay? 
So the ones that are going to be climbing Machu Picchu Mountain, Huayna Picchu Mountain, on day five, you got to wear your, uh, let's say, hiking boots too. All right? But, guys, if we're going to be hiking, let's say, for about seven hours, eight, nine, ten hours, and then we're going to stay with boots at, at the camping spot, it's going to be uncomfortable in some point. But you're going to have very light footwear like those runner shoes, or this kind of tibas, then you will be fine, guys, up there, because we're just going to be walking around. Is that okay? So, uh, one pair of sandals. Bring sandals with you, please. Are we going to be able to take showers, guys, tomorrow night? No, because it will be very, very cold, guys, believe me. So, what about the second night? Yes, because the, this, this mountain sky view, guys, this one in Colpapapa in our second camping spot, it's very new at Salcantay Trekking, but this one looks like a little apartment with a big ceiling view of the valley of the canyon, all the way down there, guys. So it's gonna be amazing. All right? ¿Qué pasó, papi? No, no, no. All right, guys. So, um, second night, you're gonna be able to take shower, hot shower, though. The third night, also, there is an option to take a shower. The fourth night, of course, in Aguascalientes, at your hotel, you're gonna take hot showers, guys. So, sandals will be very important, too. Okay? So, um, oh, five pairs of socks for every single day, please. We normally suggest five. Now, you want to bring four or three, it's up to you guys. Okay? So, raincoat or rain poncho, we have already. Bathing suit and towel. Freddy, are we going to go to the hot springs or somewhere else to swim? Yes. Oh, yes, guys. So, um, the hot springs, guys, where we are going to be able to go, it's one of the most beautiful ones of Cusco region. I will say of the entire Peru, guys. The water color is crystalline. And of course, after being hiking day two, day three, our, our muscles will be very tired. So if we're going to go to the hot springs, that will relax and will make us, re let's say, recover all our energy and we'll be ready for the next four days. To Machu Picchu. Ladies and gentlemen, let me to tell you this. Day two, very hard. In my opinion. Day four, also hard. Okay? Also hard. For that reason, hot sprints will be good to make you recover, guys, for day four. Got it? So, on the other hand, flashlight or headlight? Headlamp. Do you guys have headlamp? Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. You guys? Okay, good. And you guys? Have? Okay, perfect. Guys, I gotta be careful with this. In case, because you don't know what is gonna happen, right, with the weather up there in the middle of nowhere, especially in the cloud forest area. In case we're gonna have rain, your flashlight, I mean, of your cell phone is not gonna be working because it's gonna get wet. Unless your cell phone will be waterproof. Okay? That's one thing, please. But if you're gonna have headlamp, then it will be great. Okay, just in case. So, on the other hand, um, water bottle or camel bag, please. Do you have camel bags, water bottles? If you didn't bring like water canteen, you can bring this, uh, this kind of plastic bottle, the ones you bought, you know? You can keep it. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna give you water. I mean, tomorrow morning, maybe not. But we will start from the, let's say from lunch spot, guys. From lunch time. Okay, lunch time, dinner, Next day at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we're normally going to give you guys one liter of water, boiled cold water at breakfast time. At lunch time, one more liter of water. So at dinner time, one more liter of water. So three liters of water will be enough, I guess, for all of you guys. I mean, for each one of you. <laughs> Is that okay? But please, one more time. I don't want to be just your guide. I want to be your brother. Okay, so do not be shy. If you want more than three liters of water, just let me know. Okay, I'll, it's going to be a pleasure to give you more water, guys. Is that okay? Beautiful, guys. So uh, they said optional water purifying pills you can bring with you, guys. But uh, remember that we have very professional, let's say, cook.
is going to be boiling water, guys, at least four or five uh, minutes. But the time we're going to get this water, it will be cold. Okay, they were, they're going to be boiling a night before, guys, all this water. Got it? So, in some block factor 70 or more. Did you bring this one? Maybe not, right? Factor 70, but do not, <laughs> do not make problems, guys. So, if you've been bringing, let's say, factor 60, factor 50, factor 20, let's say, you got to keep bringing with you, guys. But you have to, like, remember, you got to put it on, guys, every one hour or two hours, then it will be fine. Is that okay? Beautiful. So, sunglasses with UV protection? Yes, I guess you all have this. Good insect repellent? Yes, I was talking about them. Remember, we're going to start to have mosquitoes, especially on day two in the afternoon, day three, and day four, but also in Machu Picchu, guys. Lots of mosquitoes, especially right now. I got to mention this, guys that um, in the cloud forest area where Machu Picchu area is, guys, pretty much, farmers are going to provoke like forest fire. They will like burn mountains, and afterwards, they're going to chop all of what they are going to burn. Let's say they will chop down in order to open, let's say, agriculture fields, guys. Uh, I will say plantations of banana, plantations of different kind of fruits as well. As, as the area is quite smoky, those mosquitoes will be running away to Machu Picchu's park because it's forbidden to provoke this kind of forest fire around Machu Picchu because it's a national park. So they will look for a safe place. Which means that if we're going to be arriving to Machu Picchu, we're going to be like full of mosquitoes. That's why, guys, mosquitoes repellent, please. Very important. Got it? Make sense? Beautiful. Oh, snacks, energy bars, chocolates, candies, and dry fruits. I know that you guys brought your own snacks. Bring with you, please. We are going to give you also some snacks. But actually, we don't know what do you guys prefer. Okay? But it's not necessary to bring plenty of them. Remember that we're going to have lots of food. But we're also going to provide you some, especially every single day, some fruits and some crackers. Okay? And camera and charger. Are we going to have electricity? Yes, senores. So tomorrow, for example, we have a solar panel that is going to provide us electricity to the entire camping spot. And we're going to be able to recharge our batteries, guys, for about two hours, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. So then the second night, it will be all night long. The third night, all night long. The fourth night, it will be in Aguascalientes in your hotel, so you will have electricity all night long, guys. Got it? So uh, extra money in soles or dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to be very careful with this. Remember, I do have almost 19 years, a bit more actually, working as a tour guide, guys, up in the middle of nowhere, up on the mountains. So uh, maybe your question is like, Freddy, why are we going to bring money if everything is paid? You are right. Your guy is paid, your tickets, food, transport, everything is paid, guys. Yeah? The only thing what is not paid is, or the only thing that is not covered actually is, guys, when someone, for example, needs a horse on day two, because that happens normally, okay? Because maybe sometimes people cannot, like, go on anymore on day two because it will be higher and different kind of stories, too. So what are we going to do? We can ride horses all the way up to the top. You know what, guys? Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I like, actually, of this Salcantay Trail. I have done Inca Trail, believe me, guys, 550 something times over there. But every time when my clients used to be like sick, it's been very sad, especially as a guide, to tell them like, sorry, this is not for you, you gotta go back home. And I understand, you guys been saving a lot of money, you know, in order to come here and do this kind of beautiful experience, and sometimes the altitude really doesn't help. That's on the Inca Trail. Why is this? Because on the Inca Trail we only use guys Peruvian people, Peruvian boys, called porters, the ones that are going to be carrying all the camping equipment since the beginning to Machu Picchu. So I cannot tell them like, hey guys, this guy, or this boy, this girl is sick, so we got to carry this person from here all the way up to Machu Picchu. I cannot say that, guys. So for that reason, better to send them back to Cusco City to get all the medical, let's say, guys, attentions. But on Salcantay, it's completely different. Thanks God. Because in Salcantay, if you cannot walk, for example, on day two, you can ride a horse, which is very good. 
Okay, on day three, let's say, because it's been high, I mean, the, the hike is being long on day two, because normally it takes 10 hours or 11. And then day three, sometimes people don't want to walk anymore. You can take a van in the same road, in the same valley. Literally, we get some help on this Alcantay Trail that is going to make us finish the road until Machu Picchu. Do you like that idea? Much better, right? Beautiful. So we still live the same experience, right, to Machu Picchu City. For that reason, senores, you need some money, please, to cover, for example, horses. Or what about when you're going to get the camping spot and you're going to try to celebrate with some wine, see, with some Gatorade, I don't know, <laughs> sometimes people do that, or with some beers, okay? Beers are not going to be covered so that you got to buy, guys, okay? Or what is going to happen, for example, if we want to do the hot springs? This is an extra activity. And you got to bring with money with you guys in order to do the extra activity. Or what is going to happen, for example, if right after doing the four day, people don't want to walk because that's what happens normally sometimes. People don't want to walk from the last, let's say, uh, on the, I'm talking about day four, from hydroelectrica to aguas calientes, which is like three hours pretty much. This is sometimes, I mean, it's a bit hard and people don't want to do that. And instead of that, they want to take a, a train. This last section. How much is this train, guys? Train cost approximately 35 US. Okay? So for those reasons, you need to bring money, guys. I'm just trying to describe why we need money on the way, guys. Okay? So how much? I normally recommend, ladies, please, this is not, I'm not kidding. Okay? So how much? It will be in between 400 and 500 soles per person, please. Okay? So, on day five, when you are not going to use that money, back in Cusco City, you will have 400 and 500 soles extras in order to buy presents for family, for friends, boyfriends, I don't know, it's up to you guys. Girlfriends, I don't know, for your parents, it will be an extra soles, guys. Does it make sense? I will recommend in soles. I mean, you can bring in dollars too, but the only difference, guys, because I'm the older brother and I got, I got to look after you guys, is because the exchange over there in the middle of nowhere, it will be 2.50 soles. Here is 3.80 something, I guess, guys. That's the, actually, of course, it works, but the exchange, it will be completely low over there. Does it make sense? So, in soles. Now, personal medication, please, ladies and gentlemen. As your tour guide, I'm going to be bringing with me my first eye kit, okay, band-aids, big ones, small ones. I will have some cream for muscles, sore, and all of these kind of details. But I'm forbidden, guys, to, let's say, medicate people. I'm not going to give you any kind of pill on the way. So, but you got to bring, I know that you guys, before coming here, were prescripted, guys, by the doctors, right? So you got to bring, for example, naproxen, uh, ibuprofen, paracetamol maybe guys and what else yeah, I think those three ones or oh, maybe some pills uh, as for for diarrhea just in case because sometimes when there is not much oxygen here it works it works actually very funny as well guys it provokes you diarrhea or sometimes gassy problems had you ever take with you guys this has been working in other experiences had you ever taken guys um, Petto Vistol, maybe? Petto is the best. <laughs> Petto helps everyone, guys. It's a miracle medicine. <laughs> Believe me, okay? If you had Petto Vistol, do bring with you. Because it regulates everything here, okay? So, what, what else? Oh, warm pajama. I know, uh, maybe you guys are going to bring your leggings. Leggings will be enough to sleep with, okay? So, we talk about dietary needs, breakfast on day one, last lunch, and last dinner are not included, please. And here, you can choose between hiking or taking the bus up to Machu Picchu or down. Actually, I will suggest to everyone to take a bus on day five, guys, to Machu Picchu than walking. In the past, okay, like before the pandemic, our clients used to walk to Machu Picchu. I mean, from Aguascalientes to Machu Picchu. But you know how those guys used to arrive there? Completely thirsty, tired, and not really even looking good. 
with pictures of Machu Picchu behind, guys. For that reason, I will suggest, this is my humble suggestion, guys, better to take the bus. Up there in Machu Picchu, you will still smile. You will look so good, guys, with Machu Picchu's pictures behind, guys. Does it make sense? And then you can walk down. So one way up to Machu Picchu is included. Okay, we cover that. But the way down is not included, guys. All right? So what else, please? Okay, look at this. The train transferred from Hydroelectrica to Aguascalientes is not included, so it's optional. This is what sometimes people actually get tired of, this section. The other one, oh, why in a picture we already talked about it. A sleeping bags, we already talked about it. Oh, luggage. Are you guys going to leave some luggage with us? Are you going to store some luggage with us? Are you? How many luggage do you guys have? Are you going to stay in the same hotel when you're going to come back? No, no. Different one. Okay. So how many luggage do you guys have? We're not doing all our luggage. We're going to all our luggage. Just in case, take four. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. No worries. You got to write down very well the, the name of the next hotel when we're going to come back on day five. Please, okay, because we have a staff of people who are in church actually to carry all the luggage from our storage place to your hotel. Okay, so you're going to storage with us, but on day five, your luggage is going to be waiting in your new hotel. Okay, that's why it's very important for us to have all the, let's say, next hotel's name. Got it. So, uh, yeah, that's it, I think. Any question until here, senores, please? Oh, sure. How many do you want, please? Two. Okay, good. But if you're going to, like, come back to the same hotel... Okay, good. <laughs> Just making sure. Okay, senores. Any other question, please, maybe? Is this clear? Oh, yeah? Good. So, familia, ladies and gentlemen, if tomorrow we're going to leave around 4.20, like in 20 minutes more or less, we'll be arriving to our storage place called Tiwinsa. Over there is where we're going to leave the luggage bags. I mean, luggage and bags, whatever you're going to store with us. Yeah? And afterwards, let's say we're going to be driving for about two hours to Mollepata Town. Mollepata Town, you're going to have a look, is pretty much two hours away from Cusco. You have a look? See, two hours. This is where we are going to stop, guys, in order to have breakfast, please. All right? So how much will be breakfast? Around, I would say, in between 20 soles to 25 soles per person. We need to have very consistent breakfast, guys, because lunch will be around midday, pretty much. All right? So we'll stop here in Mollepata for about one hour until we finish breakfast. Right afterwards, we're still going to be driving for about one more hour to Chaya Cancha. Chaya Cancha, ladies and gentlemen, will be actually the beginning of our experience, of our adventure. So how long are we going to be hiking from Chaya Cancha to Sora y Pampa? Sora y Pampa will be actually our first camping spot where the sky camp are located, right? Or is located, actually. It will be like three hours. If we're going to start around nine, we'll be arriving there around midday. Yeah, to Sora y Pampa. And then from Sora y Pampa, ladies and gentlemen, right after having lunch, at what time it will be? Around midday, right? From 12 to 1, we'll have meal, our lunch. Right afterwards, ladies and gentlemen, we have like one hour to digest, to go back to our igloo, lying down and relax a little bit, guys, right? And then right afterwards, at 2 p.m., we're going to start to climb to this lagoon called Umantai Lake. How long is it going to take us? Pretty much one hour, 30 minutes climbing all the way up. I mean, hiking, not climbing. All the way up to this lagoon, guys. All right? And then we'll spend there about an hour. And then we'll have like one hour down. So this afternoon, it will be in between three and a half hours or maybe three hours in order to do all this experience of the lagoon. So we'll be back at the same camp approximately around 5 p.m. At 5 p.m., guys, we're going to have our happy hour experience. What is happy hour, guys? 
You might know about it. You guys know about it. Happy hour, tea time. See? What is tea time? Popcorn, cookies, crackers, chocolate, coffee, all of it, guys, on the table. And that will be like pre-dinner. Okay? Pre-dinner. Because an hour later, it will be dinner, guys. <laughs> so I will suggest, guys, just pick it up a bit and save some room for dinner. Okay? Just in case. Next day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wake you up. As we are going a little far away on day two, I may be going to wake you up. I will check. To be honest, this is my way, my technique of hiking, guys. When my people is quite slow, or at least when there is one person who is quite slow than the rest of the team, I got to wake up quite early to everyone. Okay? But if everybody works in, or walks actually in the same rhythm, then I'm going to wake a bit later. Okay? But let's say every single morning I will wake up, guys, at 10 to 5. Pretty much. 10 to 5. You will have 10 minutes to finish your tea. And then from 5 to 5.30, you will have time to pack it up, all your stuff in your duffel bag. So, which means that every single morning, we may be going to have breakfast around 5.30. And then by 6, we are going to start to walk. Or let's say 10 past 6, because then you will need some time to use the bathrooms, to, to brush your feet and everything. Let's say 6.20. The latest we're going to start to work on the high guys. Yeah? So, uh, on day two, what are we going to do, guys? It's to climb up or to hike up approximately four hours to Salcantay Pass. From this sky camp to Salcantay Pass, it will take us like four hours. And right afterwards, it will take us like six hours or seven hours to Colpa Pampa here. Colpa Pampa. All right, six or seven hours, but this is including lunch stop. And how long are we going to stop for lunch? One hour, pretty much. So this will be the longest day. <clears throat> On day three, how it's going to be day three? Ladies and gentlemen, day three is the most beautiful day, in my opinion, because it's not going to be longer. We're going to be walking only like six hours, and the way it will be like a bit flat, up, flat, up like this pretty much up and down up and down in some point but longer and we're gonna be walking guys in the area called cloud forest and then this day we're gonna pass by some fields of avocados or for example coffee plantations we're gonna find like different kind of fruits on the road as well guys and if you're gonna have a look there is a cup of coffee here in this uh, map what is this it's called coffee experience how many of you guys love coffee here? Uh, everybody. Okay, so then you guys are going to love it, believe me. This coffee over here, it will be, guys, good experience because those guys are going to be producing here very organic coffee with no chemical things. And over here, those farmers are going to let us know how they harvest, how they peel all coffee beans off, and how they are going to be grinding it. I mean, we guys are going to roast our coffee, we're going to grind it, and we're going to drink this coffee, guys. Okay? Of course, this family is going to uh, let us do all this kind of experience because they will try to sell you guys what they produce over there. If you are going to buy this coffee, it will be really good gift, guys, for your family back home. That's my suggestion, of course. Got it? So, familia, afterwards... Once we're going to arrive to this La Playa, after six hours of hiking, we are not going to move anymore. So we'll be arriving around, let's say, 12 or 1 o'clock. Right after having lunch, we are going to go to the hot springs, here, to this corner. You see? But it's one hour driver. I mean, one hour driving to get the hot springs. We'll stay there two hours and one hour driving back up to our camp. So we will spend that afternoon four hours. Instead of doing nothing at the camping spot, we have these hot springs, guys. Is that okay? This is, uh, of course, uh, it's not included in the package. This is an extra activity, guys, that we're going to do. Next day, day four. How it's going to be day four? Wake up time, 10 to 5. 5.30 breakfast, 6 o'clock. 
we have to climb up to this beautiful Inca site, guys, called Yactapata. Can you see in the map? How long is it going to take us? Three hours. But you know what, guys? Many people normally ask me, Freddy, are we going to climb the same level as we were been doing on day two? Pretty much. I mean, the same distance. Seven, eight hundred meters pretty much to get the, uh, uh, let's say, Salcantay Pass, right, on day two. So here, we're also going to be climbing the same level, guys. Around 700 to 800 meters, pretty much. But you know what's the difference? But we are not going to get 4,650 meters about sea level. No. The second day, we are going to get only 2,700 meters. Way lower, guys. So there, down there, you guys are going to be with lots of oxygen. You're not going to be suffering. You're going to be like... Especially right after doing the second day, you guys are going to be like Speedy Gonzalez on day two, guys. <laughs> okay? So when we're going to get to this camp, I mean to this Inca site, to the distance, guys, we're going to be able to see Machu Picchu, Inca City. That's the idea of climbing this mountain. All right? Afterwards, we go down to Aobamba, where the little bird is, guys, with black, red, and white color. This is where we're going to have lunch. Yeah, and afterwards, guys, we we are gonna get hydroelectric in front. Hydroelectric, we, got, we will have like three more hours to get Aguascalientes town. We'll be arriving to Aguascalientes around 4 p.m., 5 p.m. maybe, and we go straight to our hotel. We we'll take showers, everything. That afternoon or that night, we'll have uh, let's say dinner in one of our restaurants, guys. And this is when I'm gonna plan our next day. But you know what? I will suggest to go as early as possible to Machu Picchu City, guys. We'll try to beat many other people too, okay, in order to get there and take our pictures. So then we're not going to have any complications with your mountain while in a picture or with your mountain of Machu Picchu, okay? So then you are going to be in the tour with me. Right after my tour, you will be able to climb those mountains, guys. So you are not going to miss out anything. Is that okay? Beautiful, guys. So uh, that day in Machu Picchu, we'll visit for about, two, well, nowadays, the rangers are going to let us visit Machu Picchu only two hours. But with me, I will try to fix it up. And we got to be very sneaky, okay? We'll try to do it a bit more than two, let's say three hours, maybe three and a half. Let's see how we're going to fix it up this, guys. Is that okay? Right after visiting Huayna Picchu Mountain, Machu Picchu Mountain, and Machu Picchu City itself, We'll try to go down to Aguascalientes uh, dating for lunch all together. Remember, this lunch is not included. But we have lunch all together, guys. And right afterwards, we go back to our hotel. We grab our duffel bags. We take the train back to Cusco. What time is going to be the train? Probably at 2.55. They didn't tell me the time when we're going to come back yet. But we normally work with this schedule, 2.55 p.m. And it's going to take us like four hours to come back to Cusco City. So at what time are we going to be here? Are we going to be arriving? Around 7, guys. 7 p.m. And our van is going to drop off you guys as close as possible to your hotel where you guys stay here in Cusco. But in Ollanta y Tambo, we're going to take, let's say, the bimodal service. First of all, we take a train from Aguascalientes to Ollanta y Tambo. And then from Ollanta y Tambo, our bus of Salcantay trekking will pick us up and it's going to drive us back to Cusco City. In Ollanta y Tambo, we have to give this duffel bag back to our driver, please. Okay, but how, Freddy, what are we going to get instead of duffel bags? We are going to give you plastic bags, big ones. So we're going to swap all our stuff from this black duffel bag into this white color plastic bag, guys. So, why is the reason? It's because when the van is going to, let's say, try to park here in, your, in front of your hotel, sometimes the streets are very narrow, guys. You know, and then we cannot park more than one minute. As soon as we're going to stop, you grab your stuff, and then we're going to tell you, like, bye-bye. That's how it's going to be working, pretty much. Does it make sense, guys? Beautiful. Any question, maybe? Is this clear, please? How much for the hot springs? And that will be like 50 soles pretty much, like 20 soles down, 20 soles back up pretty okay. much, and then 10 soles the entrance pit. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that's how it's going to be, guys, like. 
Any other question, please? I'm here to help you. Oh, yeah, someone told me that, that yeah. you guys are going to stay in Ollanta y Tambo, right? Yeah. Awesome. Even much better. Yeah. That's why. So you just have to, oh, no, you're going to store your stuff in your hotel right here. We're, we're, we're going to have everything with us. Oh, you're going to have everything? In this and in our pack. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. We're pretty oh. light. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, it's up to you guys. <laughs> Any other question, please? Please, señor. Uh, we have a chance to go to the ATM tomorrow. No. You gotta do it this afternoon, please. Tomorrow it will be very early and picking up time it will take, I mean, we're gonna be in rush. Oh. Because we have one car that we use to the travel. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Thank you very much for helping me. And how much are the horses? 120 soles, pretty much. Okay? <laughs> now, about the beer, I don't know. <laughs> for the entire trip. It will be like 400, 500 soles per person. <laughs> on, on the other hand, uh, just in case in Aguascalientes town, you will be able to get some money too because there is a cash machine. But money, you will need, guys, in the middle of nowhere. Money, no in Aguascalientes, guys. Okay, because over there is when you need more help, of course. Any other question, please, guys? I'm here to help you. Hopefully, everything is clear. Yeah? Everything okay? Yeah. All good? Uh, sorry, there's one thing. You said the naked is needed? Yeah. Uh, just in case, you know, for cold, oh, okay, okay. for cold, to avoid yeah. sunburn on your neck. Mm. Yeah. But I think, oh, they sell it. They sell it. Shorts, sandals, they sell all of these kind of things. Yes. Exactly. Wow. Oh, another thing. If you guys have no towels, okay, you can rent the towels, guys, in those camping spots, also in the hot springs down there. It will be like five soles to rent it. Okay? Any other question, maybe, guys? So, please. Oh, later. Later, of course. Later. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta tell you about some traditions we have on the Inca Trail. Sorry, on the Salcante Trail. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna introduce our staff of Peruvian people working for you. So, you already know me, Freddy, okay? Then we're going to have our chef, the most important person who is going to be feeding us so good, guys, the following days until Machu Picchu. And then we have his assistant and the horse driver. So, we have three of them, plus me, four Peruvian people, guys, working with you. At the end, we're going to be a family of 14 people, guys, okay? So, on day three in the morning, we have to say bye-bye to our horse driver, yeah? Why is this? Because all our girls don't go by horses anymore to the next camping spot. All the girls are gonna go by van to the next camping spot, by track. So horses will come back all the way to Mollepata town, to the first town from where we're gonna start, guys, yeah? So in, on day four in the afternoon, or day, yeah, day four in the morning, sorry, we gotta tell bye bye to our chef and his assistant because lunch on day four, it will not be given guys by our chef. So it's gonna be in one restaurant uh, with a local family in Aobamba restaurant, Aobamba Valley. Okay, this day guys, please, uh, we are not gonna get water from them anymore. So we have to buy our water, please, in Aobamba restaurant. And the rest of the trip also at night, Next day when you're going to visit to Machu Picchu, you need to buy your water, guys. Yeah, I just want to be clear. So, of course, in this kind of little, well, there is going to be kind of little ceremony or tipping ceremony where there is going to be one person in charge to speech. Is there anyone who speaks Spanish here? Maybe? No? Un poquito. Perfect. Anyway, uh, I'll be there, guys, to translate it. If everybody wants to say something to those guys, I can translate it, guys. But if you're going to name one person in our team in order to 
let, let's say, let them know what's the feeling of the team, I will translate for this person, guys. Okay, so be preparing your speech, please. Okay, <laughs> so in this little speech, we'll be like, uh, well, thank you very much for helping us to make us right here, blah, 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 blah. It will be the feeling of the team, guys. All right? So in this one, right after doing the little ceremony, people normally tip them. It will be personal or it will be also group tipping, guys. Okay? All of you, you collect the money and then you tip this guy, for example. And if day four, it will be the same for the chef and the assistant. Got it? Awesome, senores. Any other question, maybe? Is this clear? Thank you very much for your attention, ladies and gentlemen. I just wanted to tell you, please, have a good night, sleep well, and remember, do not go to the discotheques. <laughs> okay? Tonight, no, guys. After Machu Picchu, do whatever you guys want it. Okay? Awesome, guys. Thank you very much. So, awesome. Have a good night, sleep well.